Hello everyone, I am Mank and welcome back to Simplicence YouTube channel. Today we are talking about must have Python AI projects and how to build them so that can really help you sharpen your skills and stand out in the growing field of artificial intelligence. So let's quickly see what is Python. Python is one of the most popular programming languages for AI because of its simplicity and the powerful libraries it offers like TensorFlow, Keras and PyTorch. Building projects using Python is a great way to get started if you want to break into the AI industry. Whereas artificial intelligence is transforming industries like healthcare, finance and even entertainment. Companies are now looking for experts who know how to apply AI to real world problems. In this video, we will explore beginner level to advanced level projects. So these projects are designed to give you hands on experience in building intelligent systems, analyzing data and even automating tasks. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start with beginner level projects. So number one, we have fake news detection using machine learning. So in today's world, fake news is a major concern, causing misinformation to spread rapidly across social media and news platforms. Detecting fake news is crucial to maintaining the integrity of the information we consume. So this project aims to build a machine learning model that can identify fake news articles by analyzing their textual content by learning from existing datasets of real and fake news. The model will be able to classify articles into these two categories, thus assisting media outlets and social media platforms in reducing the spread of misinformation. This project is perfect introduction to natural language processing NLP, as it involves text data manipulation feature extraction and supervised learning. It can also be adapted for real-time use on website or social media platforms to flag suspicious articles and provide more reliable information to users. So now let's see how to build this. In this first step is data collection. Use dataset like LIR or fake news net that can contain label, real and fake news articles. You can find dataset from the Kaggle. So second step is pre-processing. Clean the text by removing stop words, punctuation and spatial character. Tokenize and stem words using NLTK or SPACI. The third step is feature extraction. Use TF, IDF or bag of words to convert the text into numerical data for machine learning models. The fourth step is model training. Train a classifier like logistic regression, naive base or random forest on the dataset. The fifth step is evaluation. Evaluate the model using accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score matrix to determine how well it classifies fake and real news. Tools you can use is NLTK, Scikit-learn, and Pandas. The skills you will gain from this are text pre-processing, NLP, classification models. And if you want to make us video on this project, please comment down below. In number two, we have image recognition using CNN. Image recognition is one of the core application of deep learning and computer vision, used in variety of industries ranging from healthcare to autonomous vehicles. This project will guide you through building an image classifier using CNN, a deep learning architecture designed specifically for image recognition tasks. The goal is to create a model that can accurately classify images, such as differentiating between cats and dogs. By working on this project, you will gain a solid understanding of the fundamental concepts of CNS, such as convolutional layers, pooling, and activation functions. This project not only introduces you to the basics of CNS, but also teaches essential skills like image pre-processing, dataset handling, and model evaluation, which can be applied to more advanced computer vision projects in the future. So now let's see how to build this project. In this project, first you have to import dataset. So use a dataset like CIFR10 or Kaggle Cats versus Dogs with labeled images. The second step is pre-processing. Resize, normalize, and augmented images using libraries like OpenCV or PIL to prepare the dataset. The third step is model architecture. Design a basic CNN model with convolutional, pooling, and fully connected layers using Keras or TensorFlow. The fourth step is training. Split the dataset into training and validation sets and train the CNN model to classify images. The fifth step is model evaluation. Use accuracy, precision, and confusion metrics to evaluate how well the model predicts the correct class label. Tools you will use in this project are Keras, TensorFlow, OpenCV, Pandas. Skills you will gain after doing this projects are image pre-processing, CNN architecture, model evaluation. And if you want to make us video on image recognition using CNN, please comment down below. Second, we have intermediate level projects. In this first, we have AI-based recipe recommendation system. Recommendation systems have become an integral part of modern digital platform. From e-commerce website suggesting product to users to streamline services recommending shows and movies. So in this project, you will build a recipe recommendation system that suggests dishes based on the ingredients a user has on hand. This project demonstrates how recommendation algorithms such as content-based filtering 
and collaborative filtering can be used to provide personalized suggestions. You will also learn how to pre-process data and clean textual data such as ingredient lists and implement a machine learning algorithm to match user inputs with recipe databases. This is an excellent project for understanding how recommendation systems work and how they can be applied in various industries from food tech to personalized content recommendations. So now let's see how to build this. In this project, first step is data collection. Use web scraping tools like Beautiful Soup to scrape recipes from websites or use datasets like Recipe1M. The second step is pre-processing. Normalize and clean ingredient data by standardizing ingredient names and handling missing values. The third step is recommendation algorithms. Implement content-based filtering and collaborative filtering to recommend recipes. Content-based filtering matches ingredient list while collaborative filtering uses user preferences model. Fourth step is model training. Use cosine similarity to match user provided ingredients with recipe ingredient in the dataset. And the next step is interface and tools. So create a simple web interface using Flask where users can input ingredients and receive recipe recommendation. Tools you will use, Beautiful Soup, Panda, Scikit-learn and Flask. So you will gain skills like web scraping, data cleaning, recommendation systems using this project, by doing this project. And if you want to make us video on this project, please comment down below. Number fourth, we have chatbot with sentiment analysis. Chatbots have transformed how businesses and services interact with users, providing 24 by 7 support and personalized responses. In this project, you will build a conversational chatbot that can analyze the sentiment behind user inputs and respond accordingly. By incorporating sentiment analysis, the chatbot will not only understand the content of the user's messages, but also the emotional tone such as whether the user is happy, frustrated or neutral. This allows the chatbot to adjust its tone and responses to improve user's satisfaction. For example, a chatbot could offer a more empathetic response if it detects a negative sentiment. This project will give you hands-on experience in building a conversational AI system while learning how to integrate machine learning techniques like sentiment analysis. The skills you develop in this project can be applied to customer service, healthcare, education and more. So now let's see how to build this project. So before jumping to advanced level projects, here is a quick info for you. Dive into the future of AI with our generative AI and machine learning course in collaboration with ENICT Academy, IIT Guwahati. Learn tools like ChatGPT, OpenAI, Hugging Face, Python and more. Join masterclass led by IITG faculty, engage in hands-on projects, and earn executive alumni status. This generative AI and machine learning course enriches your career journey with comprehensive coverage of machine learning, deep learning, NLP, generative AI, reinforcement learning, computer vision, and more. Combining theory with hands-on practice, it offers live virtual sessions, projects with integrated labs, and masterclasses by IIT Guwahati faculty. So find the course link from the description box below and the pinned comment. In this project, the first step is chatbot framework. Use tools like Dialogflow or Rasa to build a conversational chatbot capable of handling various user intents. The second step is sentiment analysis. Integrate a sentiment analysis model using pre-trained models like Veda or BERT. The third step is conversational flow. Adjust the chatbot's responses based on the sentiment, positive, negative or neutral, detected in the user's input. The fourth step is integration and deployment. So build an interface, website or messaging platform where users can interact with the chatbot in real time and deploy the chatbot on a website or app allowing users to engage with it and receive sentiment aware responses. So you will use tools in this are Dialogflow, Rasa, Vader, Transformers, Flask and you will gain skills like sentiment analysis, chatbot deployment, conversational AI and if you want to make us video on this project please comment down below. So now let's see some advanced level projects. In this, we have AI-powered image colorization. Image colorization is a fascinating application of deep learning that transforms black and white images into color by predicting and applying realistic colors to grayscale images. This project explores how CNN and GNs can be used to learn mapping between grayscale and colored images. You will gather data set of colored images, convert them into grayscale, and train the model generate color version. This project is especially useful in areas such as film restoration, photography, and artistic creation, where colorization can breathe new life into old black and white images. Moreover, it highlights the power of deep learning in understanding and generating complex visual data, giving you insight into how these models work for tasks like image generation, video prediction, and beyond. The skills you learn in this project will also be useful for other creative AI applications like style transfer and image synthesis. So now let's see how to build this project. So in this project, first step is data collection. 
Use data set of colored image, convert them into grayscale and use the grayscale images as inputs while training the model to output colorized version. The second step is pre-processing. Normalize images pixel values and resize them for training. The third step is model architecture. Implement a unit model or generative adversarial network GANs, which are well suited for image generation tasks like colorization. The fourth step is training and evaluation. Train the model on grayscale images as input and colored images as output using mean squared error method for guidance. Evaluate with visual inspection and peak signal to noise ratio. The last step is deployment. So create a web interface where user can upload black and white images and get them colorized. So you will use tools like TensorFlow, Keras, OpenCV and Flask. So we'll gain skills like deep learning, CNNs, JNs and image preprocessing. As you want to make a video on AI powered image colorization project, so please comment down below. And the last we have object detection using YOLO. You only look once. Object detection is one of the most popular computer vision applications, allowing machine to recognize and locate multiple objects within an image or video stream in real time. YOLO is a state of the art object detection algorithm known for its speed and accuracy. This project involves building a real-time object detection system capable of identifying multiple objects in images or videos feeds by drawing bounding boxes around them. Object detection has widespread use in fields such as security surveillance, autonomous driving and augmented reality, where systems need to understand and interact with their surroundings in real time. By working on this project, you will learn how to pre-process image data, format bounding box labels and train a YOLO model using a dataset like COCO or Pascal. You will also gain a valuable experience in deploying object detection system that process video streams, giving you the skills to build application in dynamic environment from traffic monitoring to industrial robotics. So now let's see how to build this project. So in this project, we will first import dataset. So use a dataset like COCO or Pascal VOC which contains label objects in images with bounding boxes. The second step is pre-processing. Resize image and normalize pixel values, ensuring bounding box labels are appropriately formatted. The third step is model architecture. Use the YOLO, you only look once, architecture which splits images into a grid and predicts bounding boxes and class probabilities for each object. The fourth step is training and evaluation. Train the YOLO model on label data using a framework like Darknet. Evaluate the model using metrics like intersection over union and mean average precision. The last step is deployment. Develop a system that can process video streams in real time, detecting objects and drawing boundary boxes around them. Tool you will use OpenCV, TensorFlow and Darknet. You will gain skills like object detection, YOLO architecture, real time video processing. And if you want to make videos on this project, please comment down below. So in conclusion, these Python AI projects not only help you build hands-on skills, but also provide a solid foundation for advancing your career in artificial intelligence. Whether you are working on fake news detection, image recognition, or developing advanced tools like chatbots and object detection systems, these projects offer real-world applications that companies are looking for. Start small, keep learning, and as you complete each project, you will get better prepared to take on the challenges in the growing AI field. With this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any question or doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.